What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be scratch building a giant bead bot for Bill making stuff's big bot bash. Here is the final product, this guy was super fun to make, I'll be going over the step by step tutorial on how to paint and build this guy, really easy to paint as well, super fun, and yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this awesome project. First. You're going to need the junk bot generator, which you can just find on Bill Making Stuff's website, and I just printed it out. And you need a D20, but I just have a D14 and a D6, so here I am just rolling all of my different pieces. And then here we are for the head, I got hole for the body, giant smoker, arms, I got wired, hands, I got grip, flavor, ronin, and then legs, I got sent for. So we're going to use these to build my guy. So somehow all of my video got deleted up until this moment. So here's the body I've been working on. You guys probably understand the process, just adding and gluing on different little pieces of junk to get what you want. So now here I'm going to start gluing on some EVA foam and this is going to be for the shoulder pads, which gives a little more addition to that Ronin flavor that we're going to be trying to add to this guy. And after I got those shoulder pads done, I thought this needed something right there, so I found this little missile launcher. We're going to put it right there in the back to add it, give him some more weapons and just kind of give him a more war-related backstory. And then after that, here he is, but now we're going to need work on the arms, and this is going to be super fun, and it's going to add a ton of awesome stuff to this model. So here, I've got this little fidget toy, I hope Bill's proud of this because I've seen him use a lot of these in his videos and tutorials, and we're going to use this for the arm joints. Once I got those glued on, these little tabs are kind of in the way, so we're just going to cut those off real quick. And then after I got those cut off, I have this little bead that I thought would look cool if we put it right here and give the arm some more length. So that after I added those, I'm just going to glue in this little wooden skewer into the bottom where I added another bottle cap and this is going to be where we attach the legs. Now that we have the, that glued in, these are some old legs from an old model I was building. I just took those off and they look like they'd fit really nicely on this guy, so we're going to use those. Once I had those glued on, it's starting to look really cool. And now here's some more EVA foam that I will be adding onto his legs. And there I added some more like padding and then these little wooden skewers for the arms that we're going to be adding some more stuff onto. It's going to look really cool. Here are some more of those little green beads. And we're just going to attach a bunch of those onto the wooden skewer for the arm. It's going to give it some more girth and add a little more bulkiness to his arm. Once I have that done, here I'm going to just, I've been gluing on a bunch of little EVA foam panels and this is just looks like armor and this is really adding a cool texture and also a great look. And then here I have some more EVA foam that I will be gluing onto the bottom feet to kind of hide those little ball joints that don't look that organic. <laughs> After that's done, here he is. He's starting to look really cool. And next we're going to be trying to working on these hands and add more to his arms. This 
is going to be really cool. Here, this is a little hand I made with just some wires and beads. And this looks, I'd say, it looks like grip, but Bill, you decide. And I'm going to be attaching this to the hand, onto the arm, and yeah, this is going to be really cool when it's finished. that's attached. I attach the other hand. It's more EVA foam to kind of cover up all those little weak joints. And this guy's really coming together. Now we're going to add some little wires all around him to add that kind of wire effect that I rolled for the arms. And I'm just attaching all these wires in random little places to give it a really cool, kind of junky, worn effect. And here are a bunch of different little wires I added all around. This makes it look really cool and somewhat functional. Once all those wires are done, we're about ready to paint this guy. I added some more EVA foam on the back. Let's get this boy primed up. And there he is all primed. This is looking really good. We're going to start painting by painting all of the armor panels because that makes up the majority of his body. Here I'm going to take some rusty color and I'm just going to put this over the whole model and just paint everything about him with that color. This gives it a nice rusty base coat that then if we miss some things we don't paint, it looks better. And I did a few layers of this rusty color and it's looking really cool. And then we're going to start painting the armor panels. Here I'm taking just Vallejo model colors blue. And we're going to be stippling this all around on the EVA foam to give it kind of a worn effect, but also make it look really cool. I'm using a kind of a thicker brush and watering the paint down a little bit just to kind of give it that more watery texture so it applies better. After I did about six or seven panels of blue, we're going to use red and do the same thing on some other armor panels. This gives it a nice kind of a differentiation of color and make it look really cool. And then I apply that same process over the whole model using all sorts of different colors until all of the armor panels were painted. And this gives it a really cool kind of organic junk look and makes it look very nice. Now I'm taking the War Painters metallic gray. I'm going to go over all of the silver pieces that I want to be metal. I'm using a thinner brush for this because we're not covering as much area. And once again, I'm trying to water it down to give it almost kind of a milky texture and then this applies over the model way better.
after we have that finished, I painted all of the rest of the metal and it's looking really good. But now we're going to have to paint all of the little wires and this is going to take forever. Here I'm just using the War Paints War Painters Red. I'm going to paint some of the wires with this and also paint a bunch of the other wires with blue and white and some green. I'm using a finer tip brush for this because the wires are pretty fairly small so we gotta get in all those nice little nooks and crannies and texture. And I've messed up a little bit and missed some of it but it also gives that more junky effect. Here it is all pretty much painted up and now we're going to apply couple different kinds of washes all over it and it's going to give it kind of a, even more rusty effect and also make it look more realistic. Here I'm using this kind of dark brown black wash. I'm going to go over the whole model with this just kind of slapping it on everywhere and after I'm done applying it I just take a small paper towel and kind of dab off all the extra so it's not too much. And after that, here is the quick shade from Armor Painter's Strong Tone. I'm mainly trying to go over all the metallic parts with this because it gives it that nice rusty look. I'm using a thicker brush for this because you can get more surface area covered with the thicker brush. After that's done, this guy is pretty much finished. I didn't do any dry brushing because I didn't want to make him look more rusty than dusty. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, and comment guys on what kind of base I should do next for this guy, which will be my next video, and what kind of landscape it should be like. And once again, thanks all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed, stay tuned for more videos.